Hey YouTube, what's up? So it is officially 2019. Oh my God. But we are going to talk about the 28 favorite things we did in 2018. To kick off the year, we visited Key West, Florida, a new destination for us, where we did a number of cool things. We visited Mile Zero, which is the end of Route 1, plus we went to the Hemingway House and hung out with a ton of kitties. We also saw the southernmost point of the US, which is really just a giant buoy. And we had a sunset boat cruise where we saw some amazing views of the sun setting over the southernmost point. We attended the New York premiere of the movie Love, Simon, where we hobnobbed with some local celebrities. We took to the streets and marched for our lives in support of stronger gun violence prevention measures. We saw some of our favorite artists in concert this year, including Tenacious D, Lord, Years and Years, Queen of my life, Britney Spears. We took the longest flight of our lives from Newark, New Jersey to Tokyo Narita, which is about 15 hours, and ended with us taking our first steps in the continent of Asia. We explored the city of Hong Kong, where we climbed to the peak of Lion Rock, we found a private oasis in Long Kei Wan, visited the enormous Big Buddha statue in Lantau Island, and John faced his fears with a cable car ride that took us back from the Big Buddha to Hong Kong. At least we didn't have a glass floor. That would have been the death of me. <laughs> we endured a train ride that lasted 22 hours, which took us from Hong Kong to Shanghai. It was overnight and thankfully we got to sleep. We explored Shanghai, where we went to the historic Yu Garden and climbed to the top of the Jin Mao Tower. We took a breathtaking four hour boat cruise from Guilin to Yangshao, where we saw the background of a 20 yuan bill IRL. We tried to take a picture and it was a Guilin. <laughs> <laughs> we spelunked in the multicolored reed flute caves outside of Guilin. We attended a cooking class in Yangshou where we made authentic vegetarian cuisine from local ingredients. Our next stop was Xi'an where we biked atop an ancient city wall and got to visit the Terracotta Warriors which is a place that you've been wanting to visit since middle school. Then we took another overnight train to Beijing where we crossed a few more things off our bucket list. We explored Tiananmen Square and the Forbidden City. We visited the Holy Temple of Heaven and the Summer Palace. And to top it off, my favorite destination, we visited the Bird's Nest aka the Beijing Olympic Stadium which was where Tom Daly competed in his first Olympics. Then we visited one of the seven wonders of the world, the Great Wall of China, where we walked along the wall and then later bobsled back down. After returning to the States and taking a well-needed rest from travel, we headed off on our next big adventure when we went to the West Coast in Portland, Oregon. We visited Willamette Valley Wine Country, couch surfed for the first time in years, and played trampoline dodgeball with our host. That was so much fun. While we were in Portland, we attended our first ever gay wedding for YouTube couple Matthew and Michael. It was gorgeous. Gorgeous. We celebrated our third Pride in New York City this past summer, and we discovered a secret dance party hidden above a Five Guys restaurant in the West Village. I felt so cool. We took a homecoming trip to Amherst, Massachusetts, where we revisited the place we first met and got to see my brother and his wife's first house. We took our fourth annual trip to the nude beach in New Jersey with a cohort of gays. We continued our annual autumn tradition of visiting Burlington, Vermont. We took a boat cruise on Lake Champlain. Saw a movie at a drive-in movie theater. And had a wine tasting at a local vineyard. We officially caught the theater bug and saw a bunch of shows on and off Broadway, including The Lion King, The Book of Mormon, The Play That Goes Wrong, in and of itself, Naked Boy Singing, and Stomp. We both endured a number of job changes in 2018, including you leaving a job and getting a new job, and you changing positions within your current job. All changes have been for the better, and we're really excited to grow within our positions into the new year. You dyed your hair twice this year, and I finally cut mine. See the undercut? Yeah, so smooth. I started a podcast with my good friend Hannah, where we get drunk and talk about Zelda. We should check it out. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Hannah and Jeremy Talk About Zelda. And continue to get drunk. <laughs> We both contributed to history by voting in the midterms and participating in the Blue Tsunami. Go Red Sox. <laughs> we continued a six year running tradition where we celebrated Friendsgiving with our best Brooklyn bros. We traveled to Cape Cod where we celebrated my Nana's 91st birthday and we got to share some exciting news.
final and perhaps biggest piece of news from 2018, John got down on one knee and proposed to me on the Colchester Causeway and it changed our lives forever. Will you marry me? <laughs> <laughs> what? I love you, babe. I love you. I'm gonna marry you. Whew. Oh my gosh, all right, that was a lot of stuff. My voice is sore. Your voice is sore. <laughs> also because we messed up like 30 <laughs> <million> times. <laughs> if you want to see some bloopers, check out our Patreon. So thank you so much for joining us in 2018. We couldn't have done any of this without your help, so we appreciate that. We're super excited for 2019. It's gonna be a big year for us. We're gonna be planning our wedding and making lots of videos about it, so stay tuned for that. What was your biggest moment of 2018? Let us know in the comment section below. I'm Beep. I am Beep. We are two Beeps. Peacing out. Beeps out. 2019! 2019! Oh, they said baklava. Ooh, that sounds good. Let's have some.